Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everything's okay in your life. In this video, I will tell you what do you need to get mythical horse. I will not give details of the horses. I will keep the video as short as possible and I will only talk about quests and the items. The required items for the tier 10 attempts is mythical sensor. How do we get this item? You will need 10 fire horn, 10 powder of flame, 10 mythical feeder, 10 mythical powder, and 1 old moon sensor. Fire horn is an item that can be obtained from hunting, and also you can easily find it in marketplace. Powder flame is an item that can be obtained from nodes, you can also find it in the marketplace. Mythical Feather is an item that can be difficult to obtain from time to time. We can get it by different methods. The first and simplest method is to get it from Marketplace if you can. The second method is the tier 3 and tier 4 fairies. We will get when we exchange Lila's petal items to fairy at the Kamasilvia Temple node. The third method is weekly quests. There are two option quests that you can get from the NPC named Lyanna in each big city. One asks you for 1 Crocodilus Origin Stone and the other asks for 600 Carrot Comfit. You can choose what you want. The other quest is the quest taken from the stable NPC in Old Wisdom Tree. Details is appearing right now on the screen. You can craft and obtain items with the Powder of Ascension item that you can obtain during gathering with Tanning Knife. You can get two feathers for each quest, in total four feathers in a week. The other method is field bosses. You can get it from Dust That Bag, Red Nose, Dim Tree Spirit, Giant Monster, Black Shadow, and Katsivara field bosses. From the world bosses, you can get it from the Ovin boss only. Unfortunately, other world bosses don't have it yet. Maybe he will add them in the future. Another method is a Lacario minigame. There is a very low chance to have feather from Lacario minigame. Another method is a secret shop or a night vendor or night shop, whatever you call, I don't know, the Patrigio NPC in each big city. Another method is to exchange the Red Earth Bloodstone item obtained from the Rao Rao hunting boss at Odilita. That's it for general methods for the feeder item. If there is something I forgot or if additional methods are added in future updates, please let me know in the comment section. Another item is Mythical Powder item. You will need to craft this item, 10 royal fern roots, 10 flower of oblivions, 10 everlasting herbs, 10 piece of black sun powder, and 10 fruit of enchantments. The royal fern root item is the recipe in the most problematic item for us, because it is time gated item. We can only get it through quests, from daily quests and the weekly quests. There is also one additional way I added in at the end of the video. You can get your daily and weekly quests from the NPC named Lyanna and Wapra who is located at Stonetail Horse Ranch, but I recommend you to use Diana NPC at each big city. The values you see on the screen shows the daily values you can get for your training level. You can get 50 routes from weekly quests. The quest will ask you to catch horse. The other item is Flower Oblivion. This item is obtained in only one way. When any tier horse is reached level 15, you can get it by sell it to Imperial Delivery in stables in capitals. The values you see on the screen show the numbers of items you can obtain according to horse tiers. If you don't need the item urgently, I recommend you to wait for a special event that comes from time to time. The number of the Flower Oblivion items that can be obtained in this event is almost doubled compared to normal. You can get the Everlasting Herb by collecting or you can get it from Marketplace. You can get Blackstone Powders in the market or grinding Blackstone or you can check the craft notes in game for other methods. For Fruit of Enchantment, the most reasonable method of obtaining is farming. The fastest seed I will recommend to you in farming will be Fire Flake Flower. You can also get Fruit of Enchantment by gathering it from Wild Herbs, but it will not be efficient that much. There are two different crafting methods for our last item, the Old Moon Sensor. You can get most of the items in the recipe you see on the screen, especially the pure ores, the market or by crafting yourself. Items that may seem to you different will be Melody of the Stars and a Magical Lightstone. The method of the obtaining the item Melody of the Star is very simple. You can obtain it, try, duo or try blue grade accessories by heating them. You can get Magical Lightstone by exchanging any lightstone item from the NPC named Delishan in big cities. Depending on the quality of the lightstone, the number of magical lightstone items you will receive will differ. 
In addition to all of these, you can make the tier 10 attempts almost for free with the horse breeding method. There is a low chance of obtaining an imperial special horse when you breed horses. When you level up this special horse to 15 and sell it to imperial delivery, it will give you the box you see on the screen. It will give you the main material you need directly in the box. You can complete the missing parts and craft one sensor item. I have a friend who get this imperial horse thing one or two times a week by constantly breeding horses. He's spending so much time on it. Well, I've done this many items and I'm ready to get a horse. What do I need? You need two dream horses, tier 9 horses of same type. One will be female and the other one male. Your first chance, the first attempt chance will be 3%. Plus 0.2% per fail stake value will be added each time you fail. In the image you see on the screen, it is a representative image that shows the value of plus 10 fail stack. You can try it from the NPC named Gula in Stonetail Horse Range and also stables in the city of Grana. At Grana, there are two NPCs in the north and the south. It doesn't matter which one you use. So I hope I didn't leave it incomplete and I explained everything properly. If there is anything I missed or forgot to add, please feel free to mention it in the comment section. For the continuity of this and similar video contents, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it in your discords. This is a free process for you but it means a lot to me. I hope you guys like my content. Do not forget, video is just a game, have a nice game.